ညမနိုင်ငံဟာညမနိုင်ငံဆိုလို့ရှိရင်ရင်ရိုးရင်ကြာတွေအပေါ်မှာလွန်ရိုးတုံးတက်ဖြတ်မှုကိုကျွန်
Given the gravity of this determination, it was also important that this administration conduct its own analysis of the facts and the law. Since the military used similar tactics targeting Rohingya, the military's attacks in 2016 forced nearly 100,000 Rohingya to flee to Bangladesh. In 2017, attacks killed more than 9,000 Rohingya and forced more than. You mean like a domestic conflict? ဘုရင်ကြာတွေအပေါ်မှာလူမျိုးတို့တက်ဖြတ်မှုကိုကျွန်တော်ငဲ့တယ်ဆိုတာကိုဒီကနေတနင်းလနေပါအမေရိကန
mother of four, who begged soldiers not to rape her in front of her children. But she said, they did what they wanted to my body. Arsa's 12-year-old son was torn from her arms and forced to lie face down in front of her before soldiers began to stomp on his head and neck. It's painful to even read these accounts. And I ask you, I ask each and every one of you listening, put yourself in their place. Imagine this was your own child. Imagine. Akuma Dala Raturiya Matila Utene. ยามานายกายามานายกามาชินีอาจารย์มาสิกองซีรีฮะที่อาจารย์มาเสด็จกะรุ่นยานี่อปอมาลุงโยรงเต็มชั่วโมงกูจุลงเกเรสูเรอา
Understanding the contours of this path is a core part of the Holocaust Museum's mission. It's crucial to all of us who are committed to living. Yes, and don't need to buy it. How about it? And don't need to buy it. อ่าเรียนเสร็จแล้วก็ปล่อยนี่ล่ะอเมริกันนายงานยังวิจัยอันดูนี่ผิดไปเลยปล่อยนี่เนี่ยงานจูเรกูเนี่ยเนาะอเ
which effectively excluded Rohingya from citizenship and denied them full political rights. Echoing the 1935 Nuremberg Laws, the stripped Jews of their German citizenship. We see parallels in the dehumanizing hate speech. Rohingya were compared to fleas, to thorns, to an invasive species, just as Tutsis were compared to cockroaches, and Jews to rats and parasites. Understanding the contours of this path is a core part of the Holocaust Museum's mission. It's crucial to all of us who are committed to living up to the maxim of never again. By learning the steps toward the worst atrocities, we're empowered to prevent them. And while today's determination of genocide and crimes against humanity is focused on Rohingya, it's also important to recognize that for decades, the Burmese military has committed killings, rape, and other atrocities against members of other ethnic and religious minority groups. Reports of these abuses are widespread, they're well documented, they've occurred in states across Burma. That history and the determination that we're making today are fundamental to understanding Burma's current crisis. Many of the military leaders who oversaw the genocidal campaign against Rohingya, including the general who led it, were also involved in abuses committed against other ethnic and religious minority groups. They're the same military leaders who overthrew Burma's democratically elected government on February 1st, 2021 and seized power. Since the coup, we've seen the Burmese military use many of the same tactics. Only now, the military is targeting anyone it sees as opposing or undermining its repressive rule. Student protesters, pro-democracy activists, striking workers, journalists, health workers, 22-year-old Finza Hain was a nursing student who went to protest to provide medical care to the wounded. On March 28, 2021, she was tending to three injured people at a protest in Moniwa when soldiers approached and shot her in the head. On December 24, 2021, the military massacred at least 35 people, including women, children, two humanitarian aid workers in Kia State, and then burned their bodies. According to a doctor who examined the bodies, almost every victim's skull was fractured. Since seizing power, the military has killed more than 1,670 men, women, and children, and unjustly detained at least 12,800 more in abysmal conditions. The similarities in these atrocities underscore a fundamental truth of this museum and of history. People who are willing to commit atrocities against one group of people can swiftly be turned against another. Oh, I don't. This is the warning of the well-known poem by Martin Niemöller on the walls of this museum, which begins, as so many of us know, first they came to the socialists, and I did not speak out. You might not get my sin today. I just messed up. See, ah, rain down in Vermont. You know, don't touch my boot. You know, that's why I go. See, you know, then in line, my American got the young one. You know, you know, you เมริกาไหนกันจีนอะไรเนี่ยเอาไปทำไมเนาะเมริกาไหนกันวอชิงตันดีซีมาซีนี่เลยดูเรื่องสุดแล้วตรงไหนตัดแจ็คเก็บเ
imposed targeted sanctions on 65 individuals, including top military commanders, senior officials, and family members. We have applied sanctions or export controls on 26 entities that were either implicated in human rights abuses or generate revenue for the military and Sweden. Okay. Where you work on the side, you know? Okay, I'm going to ask you to ask you to ask you to ask you. So now that you know the site, you know, sign up at the bottom, I don't think I have to buy it. No, I could take my channel, uh, channel, type of my part, only to my solution. I see a two goals and you never know. Tamara, we mean, yeah, Tamara, we mean, you know, I'm going to know, I'm going to go to our sense of gene, eh, to his own, you know, I'm buying. Now, but I'm a new gene, eh, see a patient, and you see, you know, who wants to know, you know, I'm buying. No? ถ้าคุณเลี้ยงชีพเปลี่ยนนี่เลยชีนี้จังเดียร์ชีพเลยนุ่มมาในงานกูยาวชีนี่เลยอาเซียนทุกคนเลยนี่เนี่ยวะเ
ပြဆကုန်ထံကိုလည်းမြန်မအရေအတွက်စွေးနွေးတွေးစုံဘူးရဲ့အရာအတွက်လိုအပ်ပါကြောင်းထမ်မစာရီတာပေးဘူးခ
ขะลากะชอชะอีนี่นายสุเวนี่เนี่ยอาจารย์ตัวมาเว้ยดิเตียมเว้ยอาจารย์มาสิกองสิริกาวสิกองสิเนี่ยปัตตะเตสิตตะ
แล้วลูกเมียวต้องตัดเพียงมุจุลุเนี่ยเจ้าอย่างนี้กูเสียงเปล่าละจะไปเลยแล้วเพราะมันไม่มาเยอะแต่ตั้งมันเจ้ามา
ยอบยาละบ่เนาะไอ้จบมาชื่อเนี่ยเตียวกาเนี่ยไม่มาปုံสันเตียวสองบิยอมาเนี่ยเตียวสองบิยอมาตะคาเนี่ยไอ้ด